Hello, I'm Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate. Thank you for taking a few moments to view this video and to learn more about the voting process in Iowa. As the state's commissioner of elections, I encourage everyone to register to vote and to participate. Make your voice heard and be a voter. I want to thank you for serving as a precinct official. The following video explains how to set up voting equipment and to ensure that your polling place is accessible. Federal law requires that the voter assistance component be ready for voters the entire time that the polls are open. This is important even if you traditionally do not have voters that have used it. You never know when the circumstances for a voter have changed. This video is an excellent educational tool for you as well. The ImageCast Precinct is an all-in-one tabulator that has a ballot marking device which is part of the certified voting system that your county has adopted for use. Voters make their choices on the ballot marking device using an audio tactile interface, ATI, or keypad with headphones, or a sip and puff device. The ImageCast precinct with the ballot marking device allows voters with disabilities to prepare their ballots independently and privately on election day. Iowa law requires that your ImageCast precinct with ATI be set up and ready for voters when the polls in your precinct open. Remember, any voter may choose to use the ImageCast, not just voters with disabilities. To get started, locate the voting booth for the ATI in the location that your election department has instructed in an area of your polling place where there is good traffic flow, free of obstructions, and positioned so that a voter using the ballot marking device has privacy. Remember to secure cords against tripping. Plug the printer into a standard wall outlet and power it on by pressing the power button. The printer may take several minutes to initialize. The power button will turn solid green when ready. It is important that you do not power on the ImageCast precinct until the external printer has completely initialized. Connect the ballot marking device external printer to the ImageCast precinct using the USB cable provided. Connect the USB cable to the tabulator's external USB port on the right side of the tabulator and the other end to the back of the external printer. Connect the ATI to the ImageCast precinct by connecting the ATI cable to the back of the ATI keypad and the ATI port on the right side of the ImageCast precinct. Connect the headphones to the audio port on the bottom of the ATI. Connect the ImageCast precinct power cord to the wall outlet. Within seconds, the ImageCast precinct will display a message indicating that the ImageCast precinct is starting up. Continue with the startup instructions provided by your election department. The ImageCast precinct will prompt you to press your I button security key to the security keypad to verify the election files as well as entering in a password. Once the election files are verified, the administrative menu appears on the operator screen. To open the poll, select the Open Poll option and follow the on-screen instructions. The ImageCast precinct will notify you that the results are zero. Select the zero option and print a zero report tape. Select No to instruct the system if you do not want an additional report. Examine the heading at the top of the report tape and verify that the tape displays the correct precinct or voting station name and or precinct number. Finally, on the administrative menu, confirm that the number of ballots cast shows zero. If any of this information is incorrect, contact the county election office immediately. The administrative menu will display multiple options. Select Accessible Voting. You will be prompted to enter the appropriate ballot ID number that corresponds to the voter's ballot style if your precinct has more than one ballot style. You can find the ballot ID on the bottom of the ballot near the left corner. 
Now insert the ballot face down into the external printer's paper feed tray and position a secrecy folder at the printer exit slot to receive the ballot as it is printed. Ensure that the ATI is connected to the ImageCast precinct and that the headphones are connected. To start the audio ballot presentation, press the OK I button. The ImageCast precinct and ballot marking device is now ready to process ballots. Put your I button security key in a safe place. The audio ballot will start automatically giving the voter instructions on how to use the ATI device. While the voter is completing their ballot, the operator screen will display a message indicating that an audio session is in progress. Once the voter has completed their accessible voting session and has indicated via the ATI that he or she wishes to print their ballot, the ballot printer will produce a paper copy of the marked ballot. This ballot will emerge from the printer. The voter will take the secrecy folder with the printed ballot inside to the ImageCast precinct and insert in the same manner as other voters. It is permissible for the voter to request that a precinct official insert their ballot for them. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video and for helping Iowans vote. If you have any questions, contact your county auditor or my office at 888-SOS-VOTE or email us at sos at sos.iowa.gov. We're here to help.